guys, me and Griff here. So, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, <laughs> um, you know, I, when I live back home, I have a cat named Kabuki. Um, and actually, it's two cats. I have two cats, but Kabuki was the one that always would jump on my bed because I had a really high bed and sit. Well, I can't get my sit right, like right behind me in videos. And so, I guess that's now Griff. Um, when I rearranged my room, I guess that's his perfect spot to perch. But he used to sit on it when it was over there. You just couldn't see him. But. I guess he wants to be seen. So, yeah. But anyway, hey, what's up? This is a good buddy with me. Um, I, it's a Friday. Just got off work. Um, and me and Nelson are going on a, I guess it's a triple date because everyone's going, it's, it's couples. Um, we're going to this, um, uh, tasting, okay, so going to the, the city next to where I live, I'm sorry, like 30 minutes away, actually the city I work in, so I just came from there, but it's kind of like a bar crawl, but instead of doing a bar crawl, we're doing a tasting, it's called Taste the World, and we're doing like re different restaurant tasting, so we got our tickets, and you just go to these different locations, and they give you things to taste and try, um, and so I'm really excited about it, but came home from work, and I was like, look, rubbing my eyes, I came home from work, and I was like, gotta get ready, gotta do some makeup, don't have anything necessarily that like I want to showcase for this to be a tutorial or have a theme to it. Um, but I wanted to chit chat with you all and let's get ready. I didn't do my eyebrows, I didn't put my lenses in. This is straight raw. I don't know if it'll be unedited, but you know. Mmm. I love. These Italian ices from the dollar store. You get like six in a box. Oh, so good. Mmm. Okay. So let's put these contact lenses in. In case you didn't know, my blue eyes aren't real. I do get questions. I, I don't get as many questions because um, I think a lot of people read the description box. But all of my contact information is in the description box every single video. I have a bunch of tidbits at the bottom of my video. And then in the description box is like common questions and if you FAQ, yeah, yeah, FAQ type of thing. And I'll tell you, no, these aren't my. This isn't my real eye color. And. uh these are prescription contacts and I have the brand name and the shade name in the description box. Always, always there. If I switch contacts, um, if I stop wearing blue ones, then I'll obviously I'll delete it. But if I switch a color, that'll be in the description box. It's always there. Um, right under like the links to my social media and affiliate links and stuff. There. So, I did have a question for you guys. I have a couple <laughs> a couple questions for you guys. Should make a good like a Google form and have you fill it out, but no. Oh, I feel like something's in my eye. Every time I put my contact. Okay. So, um, what I wanted to chat about, there's just a lot, a lot of things I'm excited about. But I did have a question. Um, in terms of like, now I don't have like, obviously, I don't you, if you follow my channel, you know, I don't do, like, huge giveaways. I just don't have the means to do, like, these gigantic giveaways and different things. But there are sometimes, here and there, little things that I wouldn't mind giving away to you guys. I give it away to, like, my family and friends. But, like, I think about, like, I have a little, air, like, a, a bin of things that, like, brand new items that I've acquired some kind of way. And I'm like, okay, these would be nice to give away. But I just don't know how going about it. Because I don't feel like, I know, I guess you could do a giveaway on anything. But I don't feel like making... A huge announcement video giveaway style for like one palette. I know, I know people are grateful no matter what, but I don't know. So I was thinking about secret giveaways. So like big things, like a whole bunch of stuff, like a whole beauty package or something. Yeah, I'll make it, you know, it's obvious. But like hiding giveaways in my description box. So like, you know, not every video will have a giveaway, but like to encourage people to read the description box and those that I won't say anything in the video, I won't acknowledge it, but the the the, the giveaway might more than likely will be something related to the video. So for example, like it could be you know, comment below in the giveaway, like, you're going to win this palette. Comment below your favorite color. Or comment below, was Griffin sitting on the shelf today? Like, something like that. That way, I don't know, how do, how do you feel about like a secret giveaway idea type of thing? Um, in the description box. For like small things. Like if I see, oh, it's palette, I'll give it away. Anybody can win. You know? Let me know. Hmm. I gotta finish this Italian night before I start. Boy, it's like 90 degrees. <sighs> and I'm hungry, but I want to save my appetite, you know, for the taste things and stuff. I'm gonna do my brows. I do want to do the kind of look I want to do. Not full glam. It's like, did I just cut my lip on this plastic? No. It's like full glam. Uh, I don't want to do full glam. 
it is um we're going we have to meet our friends at like three o'clock so it's like high heat and i don't and i think we're walking like to these different restaurants so not in full on glam full heavy duty but i want to be you know summer cute glam <laughs> whatever that means um so good and the thing about these is this is a review on icy's they don't there aren't ice they're they're italian ice so like they have that same texture as Aritas, even when they're fully frozen. These have been in my freezer for days since I bought them. They don't turn into like freeze pops, like the ice ones where you gotta crunch and bite. They're just this smooth, slushy. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna set. Um, yeah, so I think I wanna do a matte eye with a pop of color, but not yellow. My shirt's yellow. I'm gonna try another pop of color on the lower lash line. Just like a neutral, neutral eye. Maybe not necessarily matte, but neutral with a, I don't know. Nothing too fancy. Like, I'm not... Ain't no cut creases and stuff happening. So, um, I think I'll use... I really feel like I cut my lip, y'all. <laughs> um, I'll use my Tarte Young Wild... Young Wild... See, I'm about to call it Young Wild and Cruelty Free. Unleashed palette. Oh, this smells like... Cho it smells like a Too Faced chocolate bar palette. I don't know if I told you guys that in the review. Alright, I'm gonna do my brows. Uh, while we chat, I'm using Anastasia. My cornrow's still holding up. I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. Okay. Excuse me. So, what else? I'm saying I'm going to that today. You guys, my business cards came. If you follow me on Instagram, I have new business cards for uh, me being a makeup artist and slash influencer. I put that on the card because why not? Even though this is a hobby, I do make a little bit of money, you know, especially when I fully freelance in like prom season. I didn't do any this year. Um, I just was too, actually too busy with other work and stuff and so but anyway um didn't hurt to put it and I put that on there um freelancing and let me calm down freelance and beauty influencer so freelance makeup artist and beauty influencer and um they're really cute hopefully I can remember to pop a picture in here if not they're on my Instagram um, so I got those and then I got my business cards for my organizing business. Ooh. CV organizing. Um, and am getting clients now. So if you like me to want, you want me to come organize your space. If you live in the, uh, DMVP, which is like DC, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia area, <laughs> we might can work something out. Uh, if you live farther than that, then clearly... You know, you got to pay for me to get to you. But, um, you know, I have to figure all that out in terms of, like, if I become the world's best organizer and I'm being demanded all over the world to organize stuff. You know, figure that out. So. Speaking of traveling all over the world, I saw a wallet... Because I needed a business card holder. A business card holder. Um, I'm shopping on Amazon for one. And I saw one with like a passport holder. But with business cards. And the thing is. I don't carry my passport all the time. But I carry, But it was so cute. And I really want to get it. But like when I'm not carrying my passport. It's just a lot of space. I don't know. I just thought about that. Because I didn't order it yet. Because I'm like. Ugh. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so I got my business cards. All right. What else? There was something else I wanted to say. Uh, I picked up this palette from Amazon. I wanted to order from Profusion for a long time. You guys know I love Profusion palettes. Um, they came out with some more for the spring 2019. I think they came out with three more, like $5 palettes. And I didn't get them. I didn't see them in store. And I didn't want to make a Profusion order for whatever reason. And um, But this one was on Amazon for $5. And this is their Spectrum. It's their matte rainbow palette. So I did get that. I don't think I'm going to use it today unless I use one of the matte shades with the pop of color situation. Uh, but, but, um, yeah. 
So as you can see, I'm doing my brows. I finished my Clinique moisturizer. That's what I put on when I was talking. It was a sample of it. Um, and to be honest, I'm glad I used it. I used it every day. I don't think I'm going to get the full size. I wanted the full size, the, the, gen, the jelly one with the uh, like cartridges in it. Um, and I forgot I had that sample. I got it in a, a play box or something. And I was like, let me use this. I While it moisturized, I just didn't like... I have too much too oily skin for it to be... Like, for that to be my moisturizer. I feel like I need to... I need something else. And, like, more of a lotion type of moisturizer. And so, I'm now moving on to my sample. Oh, Griffin. You just jumped up here so we see a tail. I now... There he is. Move your butt! Okay, all right, that's what we're gonna do. I now um, am using this sample, the dramatically different lotion one. So, see if I like this one better. It might moisturize, but almost too much, you know? Like, that definitely would benefit people with dry skin. Because with me, I was like, my face was like oh, almost wet. And it took a lot, a long time to like dry down. But it was hydrated once it did dry down. Like, it was. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's what my need, what I need. <sighs> you know, I've been talking for eleven minutes and haven't done anything. This is gonna be a long one. It's not though. My brows, this one's super thick, but you know what? It's Friday, so all's good in the hood, and I'm not, um, I'm not gonna take my makeup too seriously today. I just want to focus on having fun with my friends, eating, because I'm hungry, eating, and um, yeah. Okay, so what I'm really excited about, I ordered it yesterday and through the wonders of Amazon Prime, it's already out for delivery. I ordered a poly gel nail kit. You guys. So, you guys know I do my own nails. Um, I'll get my nails done, my acrylics done, but I always share like my nail designs. If I have a full set on, I always share. Um, I've done videos on how I do my nails. I haven't done a video on a full set in a while. But anyway, I do my own acrylic nails. If anybody who, who's done nails or gets their nails done, you know how time consuming, you know what acrylic is, blah, 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 blah. So I've been like researching poly gel and like looking at videos and I was like, I find, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Stop Griff. Stop Griff. Get off of that. So uh, I was like, I gotta get it. So what poly gel is, this is the very generic definition of it. I think Jellish was the first people to come out with it. But what poly gel is, is um, it's a, um, a, substance of a, a product that is used to create you can sculpt artificial nails you know use tips enhancement that kind of just like acrylic but it's in a creamy gel formula i wouldn't call it a gel but it's in a tube it has the consistency of like toothpaste um maybe a little bit thicker toothpaste and um what it is is you can sculpt the nails shape the nails but it doesn't set unless you cure it under a UV light. So with acrylic, if you guys do acrylic nails, you know you have to move fast with acrylic. And that's one of my downsides because I'm right-handed. So when I'm doing my right hand with my left hand, and I have to move fast because acrylic will set and harden right on its own, right in the air in a few seconds, it leaves room for air and like you're falling forever, blah, blah, blah. I love acrylic nails. They're beautiful. But that's just kind of one of the downsides. Um... And it also stinks and all that kind of stuff. Poly gel, again, it's a gel that is only set through UV or LED light. Um, so you can take your time. And um, it's easier to like ombre things. And I bought a kit with like seven different colors. I got clear poly gel, white poly gel, nude, through different types of pinks. I am so pumped. I am so pumped. I'm going to do... Griffin, you tripping! <laughs> I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do a, uh, okay, I got to spray Griff. I know he's y'all favorite guy, but you're being bad. No. There he goes. Um, <laughs> I didn't spray him with setting spray. I have a spray bottle of water. What do you think? I'm using my cat. You know I love my guy. And I keep it on the mist part. I don't do the stream of spray, like, in his face. I just do the mist. Yeah, this is what I wet my beauty blenders with. But it works. It works for the cat. Um, he had my whole eye brush in his mouth. You know better. Anyway, um, 
So I am going to do a set and I want to do ombre. Like I've never used poly gel before, but I'm going in. I want a challenge. I think I want to do an ombre full set. Oh God, I'm pumped. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I'm I'm ready to go. I'm so ready to go. I'm so excited. It's out for delivery today. So it, hopefully it'll be in my mailbox or at my door uh, by the time I come back. Or it could be delivered while I'm still here. But my our mail lady, because we live in an apartment, she has to go and um, do all like, 200 of those mailboxes like where you can get your mail and then deliver any packages and walk up and go to every apartment door so it takes a while um so yes 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 i'm gonna do a quick eye uh, uh, like i said a quick eye i'm really really thinking about blue i think i want to go neutral eye pop of blue <laughs> classic i think that's what i want to do today like i said i don't want to be this i don't want this to be a high maintenance type of look um, I really need to mattify my skin because it's hot outside, so. Mmm. I think I want, I think I want irrelevant on my lid. So, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and do my eyeshadow. Um, and then we'll chat afterwards, okay? Okay, these shades are ridiculously pigmented and good, and the, sh the look came out even more glamorous than the effort I put in, because I put in little to none. Um, definitely, I think I'm going to go with the pop of blue. Mm. I got a lot of blues to choose from. I got the metallic blues that are in the palette, which I don't think I'm going to go with. Um, I got these blues from this new Spectrum palette right in my face. And then I got my blue, this is all just on my vanity. And then I got my blue moon palette from ColourPop, which, ooh, I could do, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get a blue eyeliner going on here. Um, so yeah, the pop, okay, so back to the poly gel. I might do a video, I mean, I think I'll do a video ultimately yes on poly gel and doing my own nails and getting back into nail videos since hopefully poly gel will be theoretically easier um but like doing one trying it out for the first time i think i might i got time to i'm gonna use the la girl shockwave neon liner in um uh, electric it's a blue well obviously so Yep, neutral to pop of blue is the way to go. I'm very happy. Ooh, that's pretty. These shockwave neon liners glide on like butter. Like ridiculous. You know when I love something, I want all the colors. And I have all the colors of these. So I wish they came out with like even more. Like unique colors, like the color pop liners I love. Definitely want to get more colors of those. Uh, I'm not gonna even put it. I'm not gonna put any liner on any uh like a wing or anything. I don't think. Mm, yeah, no, I don't think. I think I'm gonna wear lashes though, like a wispy lash, but I don't think I'm gonna put on. All right, time. What time I'm gonna do? What time I'm gonna do? All right, I'm rushing like. Oh no, I don't know. Oh, I'm rushing like. I need to leave now. <laughs> I guess I got my clothes laid out. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with. See, Taipu is really pretty. Oh man, I think I do Taipu. I'm gonna do Taipu from. The ColourPop Blue Moon palette. 
Griff, stop biting and chewing on. Are you teething? So, wow, you can see how bright that is from. I'm not even zoomed in today. So, if I zoom in, you'll really see how much lack of how much I really uh, slap these eyeshadows on. So, with what I like to do a lot of times with my pop of color is actually pull it up a little bit to just pull it like pull it out a little bit wow this is a really strong shade wow wow that's pretty hmm i haven't used the blue palette in a look yet and holy cow let me just pull the edge up Oh, holy guacamole. Don't you go that way, Grip. Alright, he's going through the legs of the tripod in the most unnatural way possible. Oh, cats. Wow, that's pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, let me go ahead and, um,. I think I'll do an inner corner highlight, curl my lashes, apply some mascara, um, and come back with, with the face. All right, so uh, we're back. Um, <clears throat> it is hot. So I'm going to do something that, um, well, some of these things I do, but other things I don't. I'm not even going to use a liquid foundation. I'm going to just do build my coverage with a combination of uh, concealer and powder foundation. So <laughs> um, I'm going to put on a little bit of Cover FX Custom Blot Drops. I haven't worn these in a while. So I'm going to take a little bit. Do I have any left? A little bit. That's these. Oh, get in. Turn the camera and then more of the elf uh, poreless putty primer I've really been enjoying the results I'm getting by mixing certain primers and I'm still trying out different combinations for like the best combination you know um, so I've been doing this One day I start a class. I'm teaching again. Just um, part time. I do one class per like module, or whatever. But um, I told you guys I'm gonna start teaching again. I forgot to tell you guys. I mean, it's not much to it. I'm not teaching anything like bio. Well, no, I am. Um, I'm teaching some terminology. Um, but yeah. So Monday evenings, I'll be back in the classroom, which is pretty cool. Uh, I thought I told you guys already. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Um, all right. So I'm going to go with my Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer in the shade number six. And this is going to behave as my like color correction step because it really has a good peachy undertone. Yeah, it, it gives a bomb amount of coverage as well. Um... So it does actually what it says it does. It, it It's a brightening concealer. <laughs> and to maintain coverage with, with products, while beauty blenders and sponges are great, they definitely make everything look more natural. But if you're trying to pack on more coverage, I always recommend a brush. So I'm going to use my Japanesque um, 709, which is that triangle-shaped brush. Um, and because this is just... I don't know it's a mental thing I do every concealer doesn't need to be set especially if you're putting something else over it and gonna set all that but I like to set each layer individually because I do all right so I'm gonna set set it with some loose powder and I'm gonna just use the ColourPop no filter setting powder I just went in my went in my drawer and pulled out a setting powder because this one is um, just something to set it not so much for like this is not going to be my final finish but let's just set that creaminess there I'm an oily girl I gotta we gotta set we gotta set stuff so this is where God help me I gotta be a little bit careful so in terms of uh concealer for the rest of the face if 
I don't have much else I want to do. I can just use um, powder foundation, actually. I don't have much else I want to cover. I'm going to take a couple dots of the Maybelline Super Stays. It's in the shade 65 Bronze. It's more my skin tone shade. And I am going to put some just in a couple areas where I want to cover up. Where I want to cover up. What basically what foundation would do, and that's pretty much you know, my mustache. That's pretty much wherever I need to go. But I'm also gonna take, um, and I will use a wet sponge for this. I'm also gonna take the. Let me get my life together. Laura Mercier, my um, real deal concealer for the under eye, because I do still like my under eye to be bright. Um, but this stuff is serious coverage, so I'm gonna take it on my finger. I mean, not a lot. This is the shade, oh boy, medium, deep, and I'm going to put that on the under eye area, because y'all know I like that bright, and down the face, so, that little dot, this is my coverage, and then we're going to use a uh, powder foundation, that not necessarily be a full coverage powder foundation, but a powder foundation. Alright, so I can actually use my brush to blend out the concealer. I wasn't going to use a sponge, but I'm already dirtying up this brush, so I'll go ahead and finish. Dirtying it up, Candace. Uh, I'm going to blend all the shades in with this brush, so that's alright. I guess I'm not going for the fullest glam, although I think I'm getting like a really... It's definitely not a no makeup makeup look, but you know what I'm saying? I'm getting comfortable cover. See how bright those dots made my under eye? That stuff. What's it say? The real deal? <laughs> it's the real deal. They knew what they were doing with that one. Laura knew. So, putting this on. Just like. So we do have all these different tones and textures and different things. We do. Um, <laughs> so our powder foundation is going to go in. Before I do that, I'm still here. Before I do that, I do like to set my under eye with a brighter powder. Um, and I'm using more powders not because I wanted a lighter coverage. Just because it's hot. And I didn't want a layer of like liquid foundation on. So I like full coverage no matter what, what day it is. So, there we go. Now, I'm going to use for the powder foundation I'm going to use, I'm going in with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder foundation. This is the shade Deep Walnut. Um, hopefully, I've used this, but I haven't used it in the way I'm using it now. Um, I've used it to set my makeup. I've used it like concealer, like it really lightly. But like I'm about to push this stuff to the limit I guess so I don't have a flat top buffing brush I can't find any of my buffing powder brushes Griffin's stealing them from me um, but this is the Sonia Kashuk I don't know what, what it's going to call it but it's a pretty um, it's a smaller powder brush bristles aren't like super dense but enough so I'm going to go ahead and pick up my powder foundation and I'm going to do this buff it into my face versus you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do. Oh, that's pretty. Really pretty. My face looks so dry and cakey right now. Like, you know, all this powder. But, I think I want my nose a little bit brighter. Bring that back out. But, definitely got we definitely got the coverage there all right so I'm gonna continue I'm gonna contour with my Huda tan tour because she's still on my vanity because I haven't been using anything else so get that and this is a cream product that brings the pigmentation uh, uh, precision of a cream to the ease and effectiveness well the cream is more effective but the ease of a powder so hey guys I've been enjoying really enjoying my tan tour 
really depth, a lot of depth I got going on today. Just look at my face and the viewfinder. Seem like a like a statue. All right. Um, let's let's keep going with the blush uh, and the highlight. We're going with Amber and Rose today because I've been doing very well not using ooh, the same blush that I deserve to use the same blush. Um, and it's glowy. And glow can hide the sweat and oil. There is a hair on my face and I can't find it. Oh, God. So put that on. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I want a rose gold highlight. Uh... Hmm. Rose gold highlight. Should I just do Becca rose gold? Should I just do that? No. Maybe. I think I want to go with, um, I think I got it. I think I got, I've got it. I'm going to use a cream highlight. Ooh, I think that's it. I'm going to use my favorite from ColourPop. One of my favorites. This is Avalon. Um, a super shock cheek highlight oh this is beautiful i've had these for years i mean look at i it's really soft it's still really soft um i know a lot of people say you know color pop they dry out if you leave the caps off uh or like you're not storing them in a cool dry place yeah, after a while the super shock oh, good choice candace formula i'm sure can dry out i wouldn't i would put money on it but i take care of my i'm not saying people don't but like I don't know. So I guess I'm lucky. So I'm putting Avalon on. And I'm going to very lightly blend it with, with a dual fiber brush. But I don't want a good streak of highlight. I really don't. I really, really don't. I'm not even going to top this with another powder highlight. I don't think I will. I don't, I don't know I'm tripping right. That would really make it look good. Make it last because I'm going in the heat. But I just think I want Avalon. Um, I want Avalon to shine. So That's what I want. I don't want it to shine. I want it to shine. <laughs> oh, set that look up. There we go. Uh, I am not wearing a lipstick because... Trying foods and different things. It's going to be a lip balm, lip gloss, lip stain kind of day. And I don't know what that is yet. So I got to put on, I gotta put on my outfit and stuff before I pick that. But we need to spray this face. Oh, need to spray spray this face with some Fix Plus. I'm trying to use that. I have backups of Fix Plus. This bottle has been on its last limb for a while now. Because I've been using the other scents and stuff. So I'm going to go back to regular. Just use this one out. Mm. Mm. And I used a lot of powder, so oh, that feels good. That's refreshing. I have air conditioner mouse. I have central air. I'm blasting the AC. Me and Nelson always keep our house pretty cool. But it's just like when I come in from the heat, it takes me forever to finally feel like I'm not hot, you know? It's like, I don't know what that is. Going through the change. You, I'm almost 30. My mom went through when she was in her 30s. So, believe it or not, she went through menopause in her 30s. All right, now that I sprayed all that, I'm gonna um, do some lower lashes. And this look is done. Well, on camera because I got to make those other executive decisions a little bit later on. Um, Yeah. Thanks for chit chatting with me. It was a lot in this video. So, if any questions, comments, concerns about anything mentioned in the video, don't have to be about the makeup products. Just anything I talked about. Don't forget to let me know your ideas, your opinions on the uh, secret giveaways type of thing. Um, you can be honest and be like, "That ain't a good idea" because I'll never read the description box. You can be honest. Keep it real. <sighs> but uh so yes yeah, this is my look imagine some gloss on and I'm about to spray I'm gonna spray my face with some uh cryolin fix it spray that's like liquid concrete because you know all right I gotta go stalk my male lady
before I leave because I need my nail kit. All right, you guys. I love you all. Bye.